Hi, welcome back to another episode recap of The Last Resort episode 11. (laughs) I'm actually legitimately sad because the next episode is going to be the finale and then the season is over. (laughs) Okay, let's get into The Last Resort episode 11. We're obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's It's a a recap. recap. It's a recap. It's a recap. The episode starts with Ed and Liz and they're talking and Ed tells Liz about how... And then at one point she just pulls my head forward. (laughs) And she made me motorboat her. And she was like shockingly cool about it. Ed wants to know why she allowed him to go to the strip club because he was sure she would say no. And according to Liz, she was like, well, I appreciated your honesty and I understood that you were in a situation where like you could be peer pressured. Wow, is this a brand new Liz or what? Now they both talk about Jovi and Yara and how that couple really try so hard to look perfect and to make everything on the outside look good whereas they don't really care so much about what's really going inside their relationship. Which I don't disagree with. Um, They have to look perfect. They're more worried about the reflection in the mirror than reflecting on their own issues internally. They really do prioritize their looks and outer image before anything else. Then it's so obvious that Liz asks the next question that the producer told her to ask, and that was about Asuelu. How is a... Asuelo. And Ed goes, wow, if Galani saw him, she'd pass away. It is really hard seeing Ed side with Asuelo, knowing how much I know. I can feel myself like getting a little rattled talking about the situation, but I have to understand the fact that I can't say anything to Ed right now. Well, guess what? Your man knows. Mm-hmm. He knows and he's still defending Asuelu. So the group, except for Asuelu and Kalani, decide to go on a boat ride. Ed is so excited to see some Sanamapedes or some Manamapedes or some Mantidapedes. The the Sanamedes or what are they called? Manapedes. Manatees. Ma- ma- what are they? Manatees. Manatees. Apparently, Angela's no longer mad at Michael no more because he sent her proof that she asked for. Um, So they're good now. Like I said, Asuelu and Kalani don't go on this boat ride. They actually stay at the resort for a therapy session. Now, Kalani calls this a 911 emergency therapy session. And so Asuelu's really nervous. He's like, oh God, what is about to happen? Why is this an emergency? I am just not getting a good feeling about this. So Kalani actually set this up so that she can finally tell Asuelu about her new guy, Dallas, and how she wants a divorce. Woo! Good luck, girl. Good luck. So as Kalani's telling the story of how she unblocked Dallas and then she got back in touch with him and you can just see the blood draining from Asuelu's face. And then when she finally dropped the ball and said she saw him in person, he came to the resort and that's why she was missing that night and that morning. And I really was gonna just go and talk and try to figure out my feelings for him and my feelings for the other person. But then we ended up doing other things. And as soon as she finished her sentence, Asuelu started to break down. He was hyperventilating. He couldn't breathe. He was like, (gasps) what do I do? Oh my God, I can't believe. This probably felt like a hard punch to the gut, his stomach, and his heart. But you know what? That's probably what Kalani felt every single time you cheated on her. Kalani said that she was trying so hard to get the love and the respect and the kindness from Asuelu. Like she had to beg. And with Dallas, it just comes so naturally. Now he's having a very hard time with this. Physically, he cannot stay still. He is rocking his body he's just like he has his hands over his head and he's crying he's hurt and i felt bad for maybe about five seconds she even thanks aswalu for making all the effort that he's made recently and that she would like to remain good friends now back on the boat angela tells ed and jovi that she's pissed at them for calling michael and forcing him to look at the strippers And Jovi's like, well, you know what, Angela, you have nothing to worry about because Michael said right away that he had too much respect for you and he hung up the call. 
And then Yara chimes in and she's like, I wish you respected me that much. To Michael's defense, the first thing he did when I called him, he was like, Jovi, no, no, no. I don't want to be here. Like, he respected you enough to say he, he didn't want to be that. included. I wish you respect me that much, too. Where is the lie? Angela wants to know how the boys behaved at the club. And they all try to expose each other. Liz is like, Jovi, why did you want us to lie to Yara? And then Yara goes, Jovi told me that he was the only one who didn't touch a stripper and both of you did. And then Michael tries to chime in and Jovi tells Yara to shut up. He's like, Yara, shut up. He was trying to hide it from me that they go into Wait, the Wait, say again what you so said? Yara, shut up. What a effing little biatch. I really would have wanted to shove him off that boat. <laughs> Michael says, oh my God, everybody's trying to blame you, Jovi. And Jovi's laughing it off. He's like, ha ha, I know. Literally, why am I being blamed for everything? Yara tells Jovi, do not speak to me like that ever again. And Liz is like, I'm so proud of you for standing up for yourself. Oh my God, good job, Yara. And you can cut the tension with a knife. It is silent. Everybody is upset. And then Squeaky Squealer Ed says, Yara, why don't you ask Jovi who he was texting last night? And the women are like, oh. And then Jovi shoots Ed a look. You can just tell that he was pissed. Like, he broke bro code. Why would he say anything? Can you ask um, Jovi who he was texting last night? Oh, my gosh. Some stripper in Jamaica. Ed has the biggest effing mouth. Everybody, do not trust him with your secrets. Do not trust him with your secrets. Jovi's seething in silence. So then Ed keeps going. He wanted her to come hang out with us. Oh my God. Jovi's like, I cannot believe you're calling me out right now. And Yara's like, Jovi, tell me who the stripper was. Please look at me and tell me who you text. Which stripper in Jamaica? No stripper Which in stripper Jamaica. Who, you travel to Jamaica? So clearly she already knows the story. Like she knows that there's a stripper that he hung out with and went on a vacation with in the past. And she's pissed. And she's asking him why the hell would he text her? And Jovi says, all I did was ask her if she was working that night and where. And Yara's freaking out. What's it for you? Then I know you like her. Why would you take the stripper? She's trying to have fun last night, that's it. To have fun with her? Not with her. When no. you are married, no. you want to have fun with the stripper? I want to have fun with the guys and that's all. And she gets so fed up, she throws a drink at him and walks away. I'm sorry. Now Angela shook. Michael shook. It was so funny because after she threw that drink, Angela flipped her iPad. <laughs> So that Michael could get a good look of what just happened. And so Angela shook, Michael shook, Liz is shook, and Ed, he is happily drinking that, I don't know, whatever he's drinking, probably freaking apple juice. Watching all of this go down, like a little freaking... And Jovi's like, Ed, why would you call me out like that? And Ed goes, you tried to get me to lie to my wife. And Jovi's like, no, I didn't. And Ed goes, I saw through your sneaky little plans. So they're going at each other back and forth, trying to decide who's worse. Fun fact, you both suck. Now Yara walks back to the group because she wants to see Jovi's phone. She wants to know what he's been texting and who he's been texting. So Yara goes back and she's like, Jovi, give me your phone. And he doesn't give it to her. He's like, no. And he says he did this because he was drunk and he made a mistake. And Yara goes, so would it be okay if I got drunk and texted a guy? And then Jovi tries to apologize and Yara tells him to shove that apology up his booty hole. Jovi's so annoyed that Ed put him on blast. And Yara's like, no, he was being honest and he told me the truth. And then Ed, this is where Ed crosses a line because he said something he shouldn't have. It was so out of pocket. Like it was inappropriate and unnecessary because he brought up their daughter. He was like, why don't you tell your daughter where you were? Like, what the f Man. Why don't you explain to your daughter where you were? What the f your daughter about your Bring my daughter into this. Their kid has no place in this conversation. Like leave four-year-old Myla out of this. Ed, Jovi, understandably, gets very heated and he's like, leave my daughter out of this. But Ed doubles down and then Jovi gets up and tries to scare him or something. 
I don't know if he was going to punch him, but the way he jumped and did absolutely nothing was so funny. Punch you in the face. You bring my daughter. Yeah. Ah. Ed just keeps going about the daughter. And Yara was like, dude, I appreciate you telling me about the stripper. Like, thank you for being honest, but leave my daughter out of it. And Ed finally shuts up. Like, in what world did he think it was appropriate to bring a four-year-old into this conversation that had nothing to do with her? So he apologizes to Yara, good, because he absolutely owed her an apology. And it's just a shit show. Yara's crying, Jovi's pissed off, Angela's talking to Michael, but it seems like she's yelling at him just because that's the tone of her voice. And Ed is trying to give Liz Eskimo kisses, but she doesn't want them because she's in a mood because Ed is just stupid. He doesn't know when to stop and she's pissed off. The boat ride is over. Well, let's go, Michael. Come on, watch your step, ladies. Watch your step, Michael. And everybody goes into their rooms. Yara wants to keep talking to Jovi about the stripper. She was like, why are you so obsessed with them? And he keeps saying it was just for fun, that he wasn't going to do anything with her. He just wanted to show the guys a good time. Now, do I believe him? Like, do I believe he's telling the truth? Maybe. I actually don't think he texted her trying to hook up with her. Like, I don't think he reached out to her like, oh my God, this stripper, I want to hook up with her again. And that's all there is too. Like, it's not like I'm trying to hook up with this girl or something. Like, get over yeah, it. Yeah, but you did hook up with her before. I did not do anything wrong last night, I promise you. I yeah, just... but because she doesn't show up. But Yara brings up a very good point. She was like, you guys have hooked up before and that was inappropriate. And who knows what would have happened if she did make it out in person because... You were so drunk. So what you will do if she will show up? I thought that would have changed, but it just had fun. And the same thing would have happened. Like My heart broke for Yara when she was crying in her confessional about how she feels so insecure, um, how her body has changed since she had a baby, but she worked so hard to stay in shape for her husband. And she's just like, what is wrong with me? Like, I understand a stripper doesn't complain like I do, but it was just so sad. I felt so bad for her. So insecure i have so much insecurities i just like feel was feeling bad about myself because do i'm really that ugly not ugly just like do i'm really that bad i get it maybe stripper doesn't complain i complain all the time jovi always been telling me that if i will not be looking good he will not be with me so makes sense it's crazy to me that yara is in front of him crying and expressing how hurt she is by his actions and all he can say is get over it it's not a big deal like, what a dick. Now, in Ed and Liz's room, they get into an argument over the boat fight because Ed felt like less of a man since Liz stepped in to, like, kind of protect him. Remember when Jovi was trying to punch Ed? Liz jumped in between them. And Ed's not happy about that because it made me look weak. You should not have interjected yourself into the situation. How am I not supposed to not do that? I don't know control i appreciate you standing in for your you're man, not sorry but it made me look weak well news flash you look weak no matter what okay with liz without liz it doesn't matter wherever you go you look weak you should not have injected yourself into the situation there you go therapy's working babe that's our therapy now the next episode is the final episode the couples one by one are going to decide whether they want to stay together or go their separate ways. Now, here's my prediction. Asuelo and Kalani obviously are going to go their separate ways. And then Ed and Liz are going to stay together. Jovi and Yara are going to stay together. And Angela and Michael are going to stay together. What do you guys think? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments. And who knew that Yara and Jovi would have like actual real big problems because I remember when they first announced that they were going to be on the show I was like oh like they just make up problems their problems are so stupid like should she buy a house in Europe or not or I don't know whatever else they fought about but damn they got some issues so it was very interesting i loved watching them on the show they were kind of like the breakout star for me well that's it for the recap let me know all your thoughts in the comments and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye